Well, good morning and welcome to First Baptist. Please stand as we join in singing. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, and crown him, Lord of all. Ye chosen seed. You may be seated. Good morning. Welcome to First Baptist Church. If, uh, if this is your first time with us, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're glad that you're here with us this morning, celebrating Memorial Day this weekend. Uh, just a couple reminders. First of all, today there's a meeting between the services in, it says room. Ron, polling, what room? Oh, okay. Yeah, the Pastor Doug's old office, if you don't know where that is. Follow Ron. He's got a really bright tie on this morning. You'll find him. Uh, but we have a, a meeting. If you're helping with the laundry, uh, give back if, if our community effort to show love to our community by helping them with their laundry. Talk with Ron if you'd like to volunteer. If you'd like to know what that's all about, right in between the services, head up the stairs to the right, uh, third door on the right. Uh, we have a couple other things. First of all, we have VBS coming up. There's a sign-up out front here. Uh, you did receive an email. You should have received an email. You can sign up via that email, um, or you can come talk to me. Uh, but we're looking forward to being able to share Christ with, uh, with our little ones and the little ones from this community. So we're looking forward to doing that. That's in a couple weeks. So we need to be uh, getting ready and getting our volunteers together and all that. Looking forward to how that's going to come across. It's a construction theme. So if you've got any construction equipment, I want to talk with you, okay? We, we need, to, need to sort some of that stuff out. We'd like to get some things to, to put in our parking lot maybe. So we've got VBS coming up. Looking forward to that. Also, as I mentioned before, we are uh, celebrating Memorial Day, remembering those who have given their lives uh, in, the, in the protection and care for our country. We'd like to take a few moments this morning and reflect on that. Let's do that now.
Yes, this is Memorial Day weekend. Tomorrow officially is Memorial Day, a national holiday. Set aside to recognize and honor to remember the American servicemen and women who have given their lives for our country's defense. The solemn act of honoring those who have fallen in battle. Now, we appreciate all our vets. But on Memorial Day, we're especially honoring those who have fallen in battle. It's a custom that seems to have faded in importance in the, in the last few decades even. It's not always been that way. Uh, nowadays, Americans seem to have forgotten, forgotten the meaning and tradition of Memorial Day. Perhaps, perhaps they do not know. They do not know how deeply our nation once appreciated those who sacrificed their lives in a defense for the principles that our country stands for. Perhaps they don't appreciate the freedoms that we still enjoy today. You know, it was not always so. In 1868, on May 5th, Memorial Day, originally called Decoration Day because it was a time when people decorated the graves of our fallen military. That was, that was when it was first proclaimed by General John Logan, National Commander of the Grand Army of the Republic, asked that we cherish and tenderly remember those who had given their heroic lives for our country. But times changed. A hundred years from then, in the 1960s, many of us will remember, our warriors were not welcomed back. There were not parades. There were not cheers, and the fallen were not honored as they once had been in the past. And perhaps reflecting that attitude, the Uniform Holidays Bill was passed in 1968. You may not even know what that is. But as part of that move, federal holidays were, were moved to create a three-day holiday weekend so that we could have fun and recreation and the time of remembering, of honoring, and giving thanks soon faded to the thrill of a three-day weekend. Thus, from 1971 onward, Memorial Day was officially observed on the last Monday in May and became the official start of summer with barbecues and blockbuster movies and great sales on furniture, mattresses, and garden center supplies. And what about our fallen military? We need to inform our children, 